what is your assessment? I mean, you um, uh, you, you had the, the the biggest the Medicaid provider in in Louisiana. Um, what is your assessment about the um, the the rate of why the rate of vaccination hit a wall? Um, and then I have another question about the J and J. Got uh, it. If yeah, that, it's if that, so the the number one predictor, unfortunately, is um is is really and it kind of pains me to say this, but is where your political beliefs lie. You know, I presented some data to a national conference on Friday, and one of the statistics I uh, I pointed out from this uh, this uh, agency that does these sorts of surveying was this: was you were eleven times more likely to get a vaccine than the average American if you were a, if you were, if your loyalty was to Starbucks. So if you were a Starbucks consumer, you consider that to be a brand that you were loyal to, you were 11 times more likely to be vaccinated. You were seven times less likely to be vaccinated, less likely to be vaccinated if your strong brand loyalty was to Taco Bell. So that to me shows a bit of a um, of an economic disparity. That's how I interpret that information. But what it really comes down to is that men, um, especially white men, and especially white men who identify as conservative or Republicans, are the ones that are the least likely to be vaccinated. So when you look at Louisiana, we were in the top. I mean, Orleans perished, and, and to st uh, still, Orleans Parish itself, we're one of the highest, uh, we don't have counties in Louisiana parishes, but we have the highest county uh, uh, vaccine uh, and completed vaccine rates in the country. But when you look at Louisiana, initially, we had the highest rates driven by Orleans and driven by Baton Rouge. Uh, uh, but the what happened is that we hit a wall, and then you started to have the rest of the state, which identifies as conservative, um, uh, uh, which identifies as conservative, um, the uh, we are now falling to the la the bottom ten percent, and we're at the same rates now. Louisiana, the same rates of vaccination as Mississippi and Alabama. When you look at those color maps, we are all pale. You know, we you can't even see the borders between us. And again, it's the South. Um, it's the um, it, there's a, a large degree of conservative mentality. You saw that President Trump got vaccinated uh, in secret. He didn't publicize everybody else publicizes i was vaccinated twice on television for both of my vaccines uh, for the local news and they did a segment on me and doc griggs who was in the animation they did a segment on us both times that we were vaccinated and so uh, but as opposed to people like that are in the uh that were in the trump administration who were not showing themselves to be openly vaccinated. And so I think that there is a bit of that mentality uh, as well. And it's really a shame. I mean, the, you know, and, and unfortunately what you're going to see is we're going to see pockets of variants that are going to emerge from the U.S. from these populations because the virus – Natural selection will force that virus to find those vulnerable populations. They will circulate amongst those populations. They will cause disease in those populations, and it's going to find the people who have lupus or rheumatoid arthritis or leukemia. It's going to find those people who are in immunosuppressants, who purposely are on medications to suppress their immune system, uh, either because of that's the treatment for their disease or they're naturally immunocompromised from things like cancer and leukemia. It's going to find those people who are immunocompromised, and that's where the variants are going to emerge. And you're going to start to see these variants emerge here in the U.S. We already have, but we're going to start to see more of them. So, uh, and, and the Starbucks, uh, 11 times more uh, likely than the average American, and Taco Bell, seven times less likely than the average American to get vaccinated. 